Greetings, beautiful souls. It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sandra, and I am here again with another motivational soul healing video. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So yes, please do join the family. Um, I don't like how these are reflecting on our light in front of us, so let's take them out. So I hope you had a beautiful week. I hope you had a beautiful experience uh, for the past four days of being in this particular week. I don't really necessarily love the word week, but I don't know, as, as totally, you know, can we find another word that we can use when we are referring to the week of the month? But that's like my vernacular. So I don't know what word can we say. So if you know of something that is more positive that we can say when we are referring to the weeks of the month instead of saying wiki because we know that words are spells. So whatever that it sounds like, it is what they want it to be. Low vibrational words or low vibrational experiences of words. So yes, I hope that you had a beautiful one. So today's video, as you have seen in the title, we are going to be talking about strategic ways manipulative people use to people who are the chosen ones in order to take advantage of them. Without wasting any more of your time, let's just go straight to today's video. And there is a disclaimer in this video. Just because I'm sharing this, it doesn't mean that I am a professional psychiatrist, psychologist. These are my personal opinions. Feel free to take them if you feel they will be beneficial to you, but also don't feel forced to do so. It is accurate to say that people who are manipulative, they always have some tricks on their sleeves. They are always onto something, especially towards people that they feel are perfect targets for what they want to achieve. These are people who have hidden agendas and they will not tell you upfront how they are going to use you, your time, what you have in order to get where they want to get and to get what they want to have. These people, as you might have seen them in the past, are much likely to be people who are very close to you. Chances are they might be family members or associates or friends or even colleagues. But their main goal is to take something away from you that they have seen Uguti, it is going to benefit them in whatever the trick that they're currently working on at that particular time. Manipulative people are very strategic. They always have actions that are premeditated. They think before they speak, and there's always a reason for each and everything that they do. They are going to study you and take time to get to know you then they will use your weaknesses against you. And this is done through creating some form of friendships or relationships with a person. And then as days go, you will start opening up more with these people with attempt to get to know each other better, at least for yourself. But for them, in their minds, as you speak, they are ticking the boxes which are the checklist that they have inside their brains, which are the reasons why they brought you closer from the beginning. Because they wanted to fulfill those checklists that they have using your presence, using your, your, you being part of their lives. So they will listen to you during getting to know each other, during the early days of your relationship, and they will make sure that they listen thoroughly to the point that you will feel so great because you think, oh, for the first time, I'm actually listened to. For the first time, somebody hears me. Somebody is willing to give themselves their time and their ear to hear what I'm about, what I'm about, you know, what I think and what, what I, I value in life. They want to get to know me in that level. As the genuine person that you are, you expect a version of yourself from these people. Not knowing that they are not like you. Not everybody is like you. Not, not everybody has the ability to put themselves in other people's shoes just so they can have a little bit of taste of their experience. 
for the purpose of being sympathetic with their situation. No, they are unable to do that. It's always them. They are always the main characters of each and every situation. They are always the victim of every circumstance. They are always the ones that need to be lifted up because they can barely do anything for themselves. And they will show you these signs. If you are the type of a person who pays attention, you will start noticing some patterns of how they are always like broken hands kind of people who always who are always vulnerable or who are always like seeking for somebody a hero to come and save them they create those scenarios and those situations into their lives preparing for the targets that they are hoping to get somebody who's going to come with their sympathetic heart and say you know what i'm able to take you out of this let me see what I can do. No matter, let's coexist. No matter, let me throw in some assistance the best way I know how. When you have done that, they have won you. They have started to see the result of their mind game that they're playing with you. If you are somebody who will eventually come to the point where you, you turn yourself back and actually start asking yourself questions, you start feeling good to know there is something that is not balancing with this friendship or this relationship with this particular person who is a manipulator. You will start noticing some things that are, repeat, are repeating themselves. For an example, strategic manipulators, they know the tricks they need to pull when they are ready to play you. Strategic manipulators are going to start showering you with a lot of love affirmations love affirmations that are hardly matched with some actions of, of love towards you. They are people who are going to start suggesting some positive ideas for whatever that you might be doing at the time it is important in your life. They will be able to see that thing and they will think you need help. They will start suggesting ideas of how if they were in your shoes they would have ran your business or how they would have de de dealt with your management at work or with your colleagues at work if you did share some information with them about your workplace or people that you work with. They're going to start thinking that they have better ideas of how you're supposed to run your life. You will think that they care. That is the reason why they are actually sharing their opinions about how you might move or how you might need to move. But you will start noticing a pattern that each and every time they do that, there's going to be a request or a dilemma that's going to need a rescuer. That's going to need a hero who's going to come in and solve the problem. They have given themselves enough time to study you so they know your sympathetic self is going to fall for the trap. And most of the time, chosen ones, they fall for the trap at that particular time. Because the chosen ones are the type of people who always seek to solve solutions and they're highly sensitive, especially with things that have to do with other people's lack of well-being. They always want to step front and see the issue being resolved. Strategic manipulators, they have no remorse with their actions. They will repeatedly disrespect you, try to cross your boundaries, especially when you have confronted them. Once you realize that you're dealing with a manipulative, strategic manipulator, you'll start seeing things such as smear campaign, when you finally decide to confront them with their behavior, when you start to tell them about how they have been crossing boundaries and how you are so taken back by that and how you are not happy about that with an intent to inform them and reassure them of your boundaries so that they know we can have this relationship but don't disrespect me, don't belittle me, don't manipulate me. Once you catch them in their own manipulation and their lies, they fail to hide. They lose this mask that they have been wearing from the day they met you. The mask falls off because they feel caught. 
you have caught them in the action of manipulating. They will not know how to even defend themselves. They will not know how to have a logical explanation of what they've been doing. Instead, you're going to turn into being a bad person. You need to expect that you're going to be a bad person. And then the smear campaign will follow. Smear campaign where now the very same person who has a fallout with you because you have caught them in their own manipulations, tricks. They will now feel the need to go around and tell each and every mutual person that you share relations with, with them. A different version of the story that favors them. And in their mind, they do this because they expect you to also stoop to that low. They fear that you might also travel first and tell these people the truth. And the truth is the one that you experience with these people. So in attempt to manipulate the truth and to continue to paint themselves as the victims that they believe or made other people to believe they are, they will make sure, Uguti, they talk about you badly towards other people. So that by the time in their mind they're thinking, by the time you reach these people, already these people know about the story and they've already felt whatever that they felt based on whatever words that were used to describe and exaggerate or enlarge the situation or manipulate it or change the version of the story. But by the time they are done smearing your name or doing a smear campaign on your name, they will sit back and wait and wait for the chaos to come. They thrive in chaos. They get excited because in their heads, they will provoke you in private and sit back after they've done the smear campaign to watch the show, to watch you get out of character. Then they will be giggling and laughing with the rest of the people who are watching you react to their manipulative, strategic ways. Then they will say, you see, I've been telling everybody that this person is crazy. I've been telling everybody that this person is not well. But because they have traveled and manipulated the version of their story, they made themselves look good to these other people. Now, my advice to you, if you go through something similar to this one, let them believe what they want to believe. Your integrity and your reputation is with you on your daily basis on the words you speak, on the people that you coexist with, on the work that you produce, in the heart that you have that has a certain frequency that it vibrates with, that attracts and creates things that matches what you desire. You have no business trying to correct the lies of a manipulative, strategic manipulator. What I love the most is that the truth always comes out it has its way of coming out. Every single certain period, we go through time where each and everything needs to come around because it, have, it has gone around before. So whatever that has gone around, it needs to come around. Whatever that has gone up, it needs to come down. And that's the rule of life. So when you deal with strategic manipulators, Expect that they're going to do this. They're going to gaslight you. Gaslighting you in a sense that they will belittle your feelings about each and everything you might be feeling out of their behavior and their actions. They will make sure that they gaslight you. They belittle your, your, your feelings. They belittle your, or your opinions. They go and gaslight you in a sense of beauty. They want to play the victim. Sometimes even when you feel you are being victimized in the situation, you will still be made to look like a villain because the person has also done the smear campaign on you where they've spread another version of the story about your name. Then they will go around and also accuse you of doing the very same thing. They'll accuse you of doing things that they are guilty of. They will accuse you of things as a form of a confession to you. 
Don't feel frustrated or get aggressive when you hear them accusing you of things you know very well that they are the ones who did. Take it as a confession. They are confessing to you what they've been doing behind your back. So when you deal with these people, you gotta be very psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually strong. It is very important to listen to your gut feeling. And as we spoke before, that each and every person you come across is coming for a reason to give you an enlightenment that you need about another dark side of yourself. When I say dark side, I mean blind spot of yourself, those parts of yourself you are still not aware of and that you will eventually need to be aware of when you reach certain levels or certain stages of your life. The universe will conspire to allow you to, to attract or gravitate towards these particular pe people with an aim to discover that there is a version of people like this and these people are coming with this version so that it will show, eliminate, uh, illuminate a certain light towards your dark spot that you need to be aware of. Because when you deal with the manipulative, strategic manipulator, you will eventually realize that you've been easy to take a ride on and you're gonna have to do something about it now that you know better. Because when we know better, we do better. I hope that this video did find you in good spirit. Thank you so much for staying tuned in today. Until next time, love and light.